Live from South Fargo on a gorgeous Wednesday night, meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. This is our farewell to the Cashwise Backyard Barbecue for this season, but a big weekend coming up, and we'll have details in our forecast on a little bit of rain. But first, let's talk about tonight. A look at the sky cam shows the surprisingly clear details over the FM area. Just a couple of clouds out there with a temperature that is still in the 70s out there. In fact, we are a degree better than we were one hour ago. 73 out at Hector, a west-southwest wind only at 8 miles per hour. Moorhead, you have 72 degrees, almost perfectly comfortable out there. The warmest spot, Grand Fork, 75. Devil's Lake, not far behind that at 74. A little cooler, though, from Detroit Lakes through Bemidji, upper 60s for you folks and right now Fergus Falls you're holding at 70 degrees. The only clouds uh, in the region right now are making their way toward the Minneapolis and Duluth area. A few sprinkles along the international border in the arrowhead of Minnesota. Otherwise our area high and dry as we head into our Wednesday evening. Take a look at this hour by hour forecast with me and uh, tonight we're going to see quiet conditions. Temperatures slipping back into the 60s and even 50s for a few of us. But tonight won't be as cold because watch the wind overnight. It picks up. We're talking 15, maybe 20 mile per hour winds first thing in the morning, mainly in the Southern Valley. Elsewhere, patchy fog is a possibility. And as opposed to 40s to start our day, we'll get things going on your Thursday morning in the 50s. By the midday hour, look at the wind arrows. They turn yellow. And what that means, Hutch has got them programmed there at about 20 to 25 miles per hour is yellow. So we'll have some breezy conditions through the valley and the southerly direction will warm the entire region up into the afternoon and it stays breezy into your Thursday evening as well. So we should have temperatures better than today, but it will be significantly windier and anywhere you see clouds on the weather map, there will be a slight chance of isolated thunder showers. We can't rule them out but they won't necessarily be likely. On your way to school, 56 degrees during lunchtime, recess 71, perfect, with just a couple clouds, but it'll be breezy throughout the entire afternoon and early evening as temperatures peak near 80. And again, can't rule out an isolated thunder shower for the late day. 80 Grand Forks, 76 Valley City, Oaks, 79, and low to mid 70s across much of central Minnesota, where we'll see breezy but sunny conditions. Oh dear, take a look at this gang here mom can't tell them apart all three of them out there don thanks for uploading your red lake falls beautiful shot here's the details about your holiday weekend friday another chance in fact an increased chance of showers and thunderstorms a few could be on the strong side down to the south how about saturday oh it looks great for the bison opener look at that 77 gorgeous degrees out there and just sunshine in the sky no clouds expected Sunday, we increase uh, thunderstorm chances as we'll be in the 80s both Sunday and Labor Day with spotty thunderstorm chances here and there. Tuesday, though, a little bit of a cool weather system sloshes its way into the region, and it will be 78 great degrees. So as we wrap up the Cashwise Backyard Barbecue, I ask everybody how things were. How was everything? It was really good. Okay, and like last time, we can't just take one opinion. Hey, Mitzi, come here. Can I ask you how was everything? Mitzi, come on, come on. Okay, well, I think I scared her, but uh, she did have a good time. She did get some steak. Mitzi, Mitzi. Oh, she's full. Look, is that good? Yes. Okay, she says yes. So, all right. Christine, I got to tell you, it's been a fun season of the Cashwise Backyard Barbecue and yeah. a little bit saddened by the fact that uh, it's, it's all said and done, but a uh, perfect night to do it. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Hutch. According to a survey done by the National Federation of State High School Associations, high school football participation levels have declined 10% in the past decade. That decline in athletes is affecting a Grand Forks high school. It had to cut its junior varsity team. The Red River High School football coach said students are specializing more in different sports and there's an anomaly in the class cycle, which is affecting participation levels in Grand Forks. The next two years having that small group is really going to affect our program and and we're going to have to play a lot of young guys next year that might not be ready to play on Friday nights. And then uh, hopefully if we can get decent numbers in the ninth grade class of 20 plus, we'll get our program back with numbers anyways where we should be at to be you know viable and competitive. But Coach Muir says he hopes the JV team will be back in the future once there are enough athletes trying out for football. Speaking of football.
Bison Saturday doing uh, we're still working on what they need to uh, to beat Cal Poly. Yeah, they've had uh, all fall camp really to prepare for an option attack that's a little bit different than what they've seen in the recent memory. We'll tell you about that next in sports.